Now let's work on constructing a parallelogram using a compass. There are a multitude of properties, five or six, depends on what you want to call. Diagonals bisect each other. Opposite sides congruent. One pair of sides congruent and parallel. Two sets of parallel sides. Opposite angles congruent. And the other property I don't have written down here is that consecutive angles are supplementary. It's kind of a hard one to construct. I also don't like messing with angles. So I'm not going to do that one, but I'll look at the diagonals bisecting, opposite sides congruent, and show you two sets of parallel sides. So let's go with opposite sides congruent. But you kind of have to start with part of a parallelogram, like an L is what we'll kind of call it. So start with half a parallelogram. And what you do is you copy this side over here, and you copy this side up here. You do that with a compass. So you measure, you go end to end, and then you come down to the other end, and you make a circle, at least part of a circle. We know the corner is over here somewhere, so I don't need to draw the circle down here. And then we measure the other side. I'm sure hope my compass is big enough. Okay, measure the other side come up here to the corner and there we go there is the other corner of our parallelogram connect the corners we did that by making two pairs of opposite sides congruent now let's talk about diagonals bisecting each other. Well, we kind of have to make a diagonal first. So just make a line segment. And that will be the diagonal, one of the diagonals of our parallelogram. Now how do we bisect it? Well, we use two circles that are the same size. How big? They have to be bigger than halfway because they have to overlap. Some people just make them the whole size. Doesn't matter. So I gotta make it bigger than halfway. And again, you don't have to make the whole circle. You just have to make the part where they are going to cross. Sure hope I got the whole part there. So I put a hole in the paper. Alrighty. So if I do this, yes, I create a perpendicular. But in the case that I wanted, is I wanted to make that a bisector. Well, now what? Now I gotta draw another diagonal somewhere through there. Anywhere. And this is one of the times you actually wanted to make more of the circle. Because the circle is going to tell you where to go with your lines. Oh, let's see. We've got to draw through here. So let's go here to here. i got to draw through there. Man, let's go this one. I like this one better. there at the ends of the other diagonal. So here's our parallelogram. We made them bisect each other. We bisected the first one and because the circles are the same size this diagonal is also bisected. If the circles aren't the same size. There are times when you need those circles the same size. Times when you just need 90s. So, we made congruent sides by copying and putting, copying and putting, and we bisect a diagonal. Draw a diagonal, two circles the same size, we'll cut it in half, and then draw another diagonal through that half. And where it hits the same size circles, it's going to be bisected. And the third one that a lot of people like to do, try, is two sets of parallel. Again, make one set of parallel lines by doing these 
perpendiculars, and then make another set of parallel lines somewhere else, slanted, and then that is your parallelogram.